mostly 3D printed CNC machine. I built several CNC's and this one really caught my attention. The Sol Silva that I recently put together is an awesome machine and I'm enjoying it. In the meantime, I'm always interested in trying something different. So I've been looking at this for a while and figured why not. I've got most of the parts here, so this should be a very inexpensive build. We're going to use conduit, the 23.5 millimeter electrical conduit piping for the machine, and cut out the parts. This is just the tool holder part. I've been working on other segments for the last few days. I started printing these parts this past week, and these have all been printed on the very cheap ANET A8 CNC machine or 3D printer that I put together not too long ago. And these have come out really, really well. And like I say, we're about halfway through with those. And those were cut on this $175 3D printer, which I think now is about $150 or $160. I've got this little Monoprice Mini that I bought last fall. And we're going to make the tool holder that was just on the computer screen in red using this guy. And this is going to take most of the space here. The dimensions for this are 120 by 120 by 120. And I think that'll fit there, so that should look pretty cool. And a friend of mine brought his 3D printer over the other day. He was having some problems with it. So I'm still tweaking the settings on this. And we're going to make some parts on this one as well. The cool thing about this design is it's adjustable and you can make this CNC machine pretty large. This is the booth that I used to have my other machines in and as it stands now we should be able to get an 18 inch by 36 inch CNC working area with this machine. So far these are the parts that we've cut out about halfway through the second page and we'll just keep on rolling. The Thingiverse plans for these are fantastic. It's all there. There's a lot of data, a lot of information. I'm going with the 23 and a half inch conduit and we've got our infill percentages, estimated time to cut, and weight. And as far as the mechanics of running this thing, I'm going to do something a little bit strange. This is my 3040 machine that I've had for a while. I borrowed the steppers off of this and put those on the Sol Silva CNC machine. So those are driving our X. Got on either side there. And then for the controller board and the electronics from the 3040 CNC, which is this guy here, we're going to use this to run the 3D printed CNC. And then to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to borrow the UC100 that is currently connected to the Sol Silva and use that to interface with the 3040 CNC controller board. So this should be interesting. Again, most of the parts are here and it'll be a nice comparison for the mostly printed CNC machine in comparison with the Sol Silva. The Sol Silva is much beefier. It's a very solid machine. And I'm really curious though on this 3D printed CNC and see how it compares. So stay tuned. Hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll get this together and we'll go from there. Thanks very much for taking a look.